Well, welcome to the Prophet Letter, issue 163, The Change. I'm out of the track the other night. First track meet ever, youngest son involved in track, and I didn't know a lot about it. Now, I'm a hyperactive on one side, but on the other side, I'm fairly analytical about knowing what's going on. I love the familiar. That's why I just eat pizza and hamburgers, because I know what's going on there, and any of that foo-foo stuff, <laughs> well, that's just dangerous. So back to the track. So we're out there, it's cold, it's freezing. We get there, the other parents say, hey, is this your first year of track? We say, yeah, me and baby girl. And they said, do you know what you're in for? I said, no, because I wanted it to be really exciting. And they said, there's about one race every 10 or 15 minutes, and the track meet lasts between four and five hours, depending on how organized it is. Well. I mean, for a hyperactive, four or five hours is really the equivalent in life of four to like five days because time is really compressed for the hypers and for those with ADD and all that because we not only lose track with time, the reason is it seems like there's so much that happens within one hour. Well, when I got the news that it was going to be four to five hours, you can imagine how excited I was. And around us, though, was another group of people who were pretty excited. And there was one particular lady that made me look non-hyper altogether. It made me look non-active. She was so hyperactive. And so she begins to talk, and she's rattling on and on and on and on and on. And she's yelling out to the kids as they run around the track, and she's yelling your wrong names. And all the rest of us are just sitting there just amazed by this hurricane of power and personality and she was really letting rip it's pretty awesome we're having a big time and the other thing that was interesting is it was freezing at least for here in Alabama it was really cold out there and we were all bundled up but she wasn't bundled up at all in fact she had very thin shirt sleeves on and everybody said you know aren't you cold and she said no I'm not cold at all in fact I'm really hot she said I may be going through the change well the change. I mean, that's something you're not even allowed to talk about. And certainly, guys don't bring it up, even though the change itself, the formal name, actually begins with us. I mean, it's called menopause. I mean, it begins with us. You would think that we'd be able to talk about it, but within the name itself is the warning, which lets us know we can't talk about it. Men, oh, <laughs> pause. Don't mention this. So I knew that. So even as hyperactive or ADD as I am, I knew that I was not allowed to talk about that. So instead, I simply said, and you know, safe question, just how old are you? Which, you know, I found out that actually talking about the change would have been better. So what, what am I saying? What's this all about? How does this have to tie in with internet marketing? The change, I mean, when our bodies begin to change, when we get older, our metabolism slows down, or ladies, you go through the change, or men, you lose your hair, and all the muscles that were there in the 20s have disappeared. It's a natural part of life. So online with our businesses, we've got to change as well. If you've been a member of Nichology for any amount of time, You've seen huge changes take place over the last couple of years, and we've got even more changes coming. So change is good, and change is also inevitable. So what do you need to change? What do you need to alter? What do you need to look at and say, you know what, that's not working, so let's do this over here. So I've got you a little graph made. Don't be amazed by the graphics. And this is how simple it is to change. Just get you out of yellow legal pad, sort of like what I've got here, and just write down, ain't working, ain't working, change to, and when. You know, what ain't working? Reading forums or staying in forums and reading posts by people who want to be but can't be because they're in the forum. So we can, we can change that to setting up a squeeze page, something productive. A good change. And when am I going to do that? Maybe Saturday morning. Maybe I'm going to start that out Saturday morning, begin that change, and alter that state. So change is good. Maybe we all in our businesses need to go through menopause. Hey, this is Paul. Success. It's not an accident. Especially not with change. And especially not with the change. But don't bring it up around the ladies.